This launch on Wednesday brought 60 new Starlink satellites into space. These spacecraft clusters are designed to cover the planet with broadband internet. There is now a total of 482 Starlink satellites in orbit along with 2,000 other satellites. They all occupy a part of space called Lower Earth Orbit, which is the space closest to Earth. That zone is also the only part of space currently occupied by humans and has an estimated 20,000 bits of space junk, old dead satellites and broken loose pieces all traveling at 10 to 20,000 miles per hour. Even really small things like paint flecks can pose really uh, big dangers. Akil Rao spent years studying space junk at the University of Colorado. He says major collisions between spacecraft have not been common, but the theory among scientists is that as lower Earth orbit gets more congested, a collision will likely result in exponential damage. You've got some junk up there that hits some stuff, creates more junk, hits more stuff, creates more junk, and you got this cycle where collisions beget collisions. This problem has the potential to get really nasty kind of quickly. Rao says one popular method evolving to clean up lower Earth orbit is garbage collection to physically remove space junk with nets and harpoons and even lasers. But he thinks that will not be enough. The reason we think they're not enough is because the fundamental problem here is about incentives. It's about the incentive to launch in the first place to keep the satellite up there in the first place. He says satellite operators only have to consider the cost of building, launching, and maintaining satellites, and not what happens to them if there's an issue. Rao's idea is to implement what he calls an orbital use fee on every launch. He says that will help ensure that satellite operators factor in the potential cost if something goes wrong, and it will bolster the overall value of the satellite industry. So now when you launch a satellite, you're only going to launch it if it's valuable enough to cover not only your cost, but the cost that you are imposing to others. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.